everybody, it's Michael from GetFitOver40.com. Thanks for watching another video. And today's subject, we're going to try and get through this pretty quick. Just going to talk about some basic future goals. Nothing big, just a couple things. So, you know, after a show, it's kind of tough to decide what am I going to do? Am I going to do another show? Sometimes I've even said in the past, I'm not doing any more shows. Maybe they didn't go so good or whatever. The show that I just did went pretty well. I mean, you can watch that video. I've got some stage photos and different things from the video, so you can watch that. Um, just to take a look and see what you think, how you think I did. And, you know, in terms of um, overall placements, I, I've done better in other shows, but I felt personally the experience, experience was really good. And I felt that I brought, you know, a good version of myself. At least at 51 years old, I thought I came in pretty decent. So um, can I always do better? Absolutely. And that's kind of what this video is about. Um, am I doing a show next year? Well, maybe. I haven't planned exactly what show it's going to be. I don't even, you know, right now, we don't know what's planned for next year. We don't know how those shows are going to roll out, if COVID's going to still be a thing, if we're still going to be like no audience. I have no idea. So we're going to kind of have to play it by ear in terms of what shows are going to be available and what's happening in those shows and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, for me personally, it's not just about the shows. It's personal gains, personal, personal just, you know, progress. And, you know, I would like to, my, I guess my next big goal is to see if I can bring up my legs. And that's why this video, I think I'm going to name it Project Tree Trunks, uh, because that's the goal. Not necessarily to have tree trunk legs, but if I shoot for the stars and I get halfway there, then, you know, that's pretty good, right? I mean, like you can, you can have these goals. You can say, I'm going to lose I'm gonna lose 10 pounds over the course of the year and that's a great goal. And you lose 15 pounds and you think, man, I'm a champion, I, I did better than my goal. And that's true and that's not a bad thing. But what if you said, hey, you know, you had a lot of weight to lose and you said, I'm gonna lose 50 pounds this year. Because that's pretty, that's pretty forward thinking, that's, that's a lot of weight to lose in a year. Uh, you know, I don't care who you are, that's a lot of weight to lose in a year. And let's say you only get to 30 pounds. You lose 30 pounds of weight. You only got, you know, just a little over halfway there. It might, might seem like failure. You didn't reach your goal. But where, where, where did you end up? You ended up losing 30 pounds versus 15 pounds because you set your bar high. So that's what I'm saying here. I'm going to set my bar high. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to shoot for tree trunk legs. If I get, you know, I don't know, like maybe birch tree or whatever tree. I'm not even sure. What's, what's halfway to tree trunk? I don't know, right? It just really depends on the size of the tree trunk, I guess. Like medium-sized tree trunk legs. If I get medium-sized tree trunk legs, then I'll be happy, right? Um, right now, I have just measured them. I don't think they're small, but, you know, compared to these classic physique guys, I guess, yeah, they were a little small. Um, you know, these guys were about half my age in general, and they had, I think guys that age tend to have a little easier time putting on leg size. I don't know. Maybe, I'm not sure. I don't think I've... I've really uh, had a difficulty putting on size of my legs, but I've just never gone for big legs. I've, I've trained them fairly equally with my upper body. My upper body just seems to grow a little bit easier. I have focused on things in the past like shoulders and trained them, sorry, I might've made a bump there, and trained them literally every day and focused on certain muscle groups and trained them more and brought them up. So have I ever trained legs like a ton to try to bring them up? No, I've trained them enough, I felt. It hasn't been enough. So at 51, it's going to be a challenge. And people have said to me, you know, you can't get, you can't grow legs when, as you get older. 51, we'll see. I mean, older guys tend to just not bring up their legs, just don't tend to be as big. But then you, you look at some of these guys like Tom Platts and, you know, even at, at an elderly age, they still had pretty huge legs. But he was a phenomenal, you know, phenomenon when it came to the legs. And I'm not that guy. But what am I going to do to grow my legs without making this video too long? I'm going to train them literally every day. I'm going to do something for them. So the idea here is uh, I'm going to be doing a deadlift day on Monday at the at the CrossFit place where I train, which is called Strength Camp Langley. Um, he's he's really good there. Uh, Sean is the guy, one of the owners there, and he allows me to kind of, you know, I do their program, but I do slight modifications if things don't, you know, suit my purposes, if they don't work for me, if I'm afraid of injuries or things like that. So he does allow me to kind of work the way I like to work, instead of making a circuit super crazy busy, like there's usually three parts to a circuit, part of that would be the deadlift, 
So what he'll, he'll do is he'll let me do deadlift first, get it out of the way. He'll put me in that group of people because he knows that's the focus of the workout for me. And then the little filler stuff, like maybe some shoulder thing that's going on or a little sprint on the grass, I'll kind of milk those things. I'll just downplay those things so that I have time to rest for my actual deadlift. So that happens on Monday and, you know, we go pretty heavy. I go as heavy as I want. I can, I can really get a good workout in. Tuesday's going to be um, accessory work, so probably an extension and a curl. Uh, Wednesday, again, will be some sort of accessory work, but it'll be slightly different, a little different thing uh, for that accessory. And then on Thursday, I go back to strength camp because it's all barbells and stuff that I don't have at home. I get to do that. And so I'm going to do um, squatting. And again, it's the same type of program. I'm allowed to be flexible and do what I kind of want, do the types of squats that I want. If I want to use a box squat or something, or if they're doing pause squats and I don't feel like doing pause squats, I'll do my own thing. So again, uh, Sean's really flexible that way. And then uh, Friday will be uh, legs again, but that's going to be extensions and curls. And then on Saturday, I'm going to probably do some sort of a, of a compound movement, like a leg press or hack squat. Uh, something like that, or maybe some uh, some uh, maybe some lunges, but something that kind of targets the thigh and the hamstring at the same time, as opposed to doing accessory work. So I'll be doing three accessory days and three compound days, every day doing legs, and then for upper body, I'm going to be doing like a chest and back day, and then a shoulders and arms day, and then I'll be adding a little core in as I feel it's necessary. Usually, I tack that on the end of my workout, some abs or stuff like something like that. Not every day, I don't need to do them every day. My abs, as you know, are a strong point, but um, generally I kind of throw something in a little bit each day for the core. And that's what's gonna happen. Now I'm gonna try and put out a video every, um, every month if I can, just with a little update how the progress is going. Uh, hopefully there is some happening, something happening after a month. So where are we now? We're Friday the 23rd. So about mid month, you know, maybe the, Later half of the month, the next month, some sometime after the 20th of November, I'll post another video. And I have measured my legs, and my left leg is 23 uh, and three quarters inches in diameter at the thickest point near the top there. And my right leg is 23.5 or you know, and a half inch, 23 and a half inches at the largest point. So I always know my left leg's always been a little bit just bulkier. Just I did actually have an injury in my hamstring and it's kind of almost changed the shape of my hamstring a little bit. It's a little bit more flared out, which makes it look a little bigger and potentially it is bigger. In terms of strength, they feel about the same strength. All right, so that's what's going on. That's my immediate thoughts for the future, what I plan to do in terms of goals. I will, of course, have other goals going on, but I thought I'd share this one with you because uh, you know, I can I can uh, progress with this and share any of my progress month to month with you guys and let you know what's going on. And we'll find out if a 51 year old dude with medium sized legs can get uh, tree trunk legs. Let's see what happens. OK. And maybe at my next show, when I step on stage, we'll have a, a different result because I know they do like guys with with a little bit chunkier legs. And for sure that that portion let me down a little bit this year. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, take care.